Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to root any Android device without using a computer, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device, without using any custom recover like TTAB, Erby, or anything like that. Easy and simple. So, before the video, I want to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe, activate the notification to get notified about new video, and let's get started. Let's get started. So as I just said, I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can get root SS on your phone. It doesn't matter the phone you're using, it doesn't matter the version you use because the method that I'm going to be showing you is going to be working on any phone, on any kind of version, easy and simple. You won't need a computer, you won't need any custom recovery like TTAP or BIO. It's pretty easy to do, easy and simple so uh let's get started by making some change on your android device open the setting of your android device just like this scroll down to the last option about phone or about device just like this right over here about phone here what we're going to do you are going to find this option name it build the number right over here find this option saying build the number clicking on it around seven times to activate the developer option we need to a uh, make some change on the device so a uh, find this option build the number on your setting click it on the seven time to activate the developer option i i have already did that i am already a developer so i don't need to do that anymore activate developer option return what we're going to do now just to choose this option find this one over here saying developer option if you are not saying this option on your setting, what you're going to just click right over here on the cheesy icon right over here in the corner find the cheesy icon on your phone to a uh, choose this option developer option click it on it then write the developer developer option just like this you will find this option developer option click it on it by doing that it will open the developer option it's going to be just like this if it is disabled this one over here just click it on it to enable if it is like this just enable by clicking right over here in the corner this icon click it on it go ahead click it okay don't worry all right now scroll down you need to enable this option saying usb the working mode is necessary this option don't need to worry about it it's just uh simple step it won't hurt your device as i have just said the method that i'm going to be showing you is pretty easy to do it won't hurt your device we won't delete nothing on your device so activate this option usb the plugin mode by clicking right over here in the corner press ok if you ask you don't worry just simple step all right scroll down we are going to the a uh, enable one more option make sure if your phone heavy a Two gigabytes of RAM memory. You need to enable this option saying 40 GB urinary. If your phone have a four gigabytes or higher, like eight gigabytes, you don't need to enable this option. Only enable this option if you have on your phone two gigabytes of RAM memory on your phone or anything like that. You need to enable this option. So uh, I have a four gigabytes of RAM memory, so I don't need this option. Um, okay, now I am going to be showing you that my Android device have no root access. To do that, I'm going to be using this application called the Root Shaker. The link will be available in the description of this video if you want to know as well if your phone have root access. I'm going to be using this application Root Shaker. Download the link will be available in the description as well as I just said if you want to know. Download the application. It doesn't have a virus. Don't worry. Install it on your phone. Easy. Open the app. It's going to be just like this. Here what we're going to do just click right over here on shake. By doing that the application will start to verify. And it's going to automatically tell you if your phone have root access or not. Just click here on it. As you can see my Android device have no root access. It's saying no root. That, that is me that my Android device have no root access. So I am going to be showing you how you can get root access on your phone easy and simple without using a computer, without uh, using any custom recovery like TTAP or B, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device, without hiring your device. We won't delete anything installing on your device. As simple as that, you will get root access on your phone easy and simple. 
all right now you need to download this application the link will be available in the description of this video the app we are going to be using the application that we are going to use to get with the SS on our android device the link will be available in the description of this video then load the app installed on your phone it's going to be a it's going to be just like this this one over here is the application that we are going to be using as you can see i have a true different version of this application i mean it's the same version but so before uh, so before downloading this application or installing on your phone you need to know the architecture of your android device the arm of your android device i am using my android device is a uh, architecture is a uh, 64 i'm going to be a uh, so that means that i can use a uh, proof of this version to do that to find out the architecture of your android device we are going to use this application the same application that we have installed the root share card the one that we are that the one that we have used just now to verify the root SS on, on our Android device. This application is going as well tell us the architecture of your phone. To do that, find out the architecture of your phone if you don't know. To find out, just click right over here on build information right over here in the corner. Click on it. By doing that, you will get all the information of your phone. So a uh, here it is the one that we are looking for the information that we are looking for as you can see the architecture of my android device is 64 as you can see that means that i can install the proof of this version of this application if i want i can install this one over here the 32 and if i want i can install this the older one the 64 so find out the right architecture to your phone and install the right version to your phone i am going to be installing this one over here the ferry the link will be available in the description of this application then load just install it on your phone it's pretty easy to do the application it doesn't have a virus you don't need to worry about it it's one hard in your device it's 100 percent safe and easy to do install the application and open it up don't worry it won't hurt your device it's 100 percent safe as i have just said the application is, is in chinese i don't know what exactly they saying but just to click on the first option if this is happening to you as well click right over here swipe to the right so I brought more time to the right as you can see the application is saying that it will be available in the right hand. So you can see very nice swipe to the right and click right over here right over here and this is Chinese I don't know what exactly they're saying click right over here make sure to a uh, click right over here in this option click it on it it was asking me to give you all the permission so give you all the permission to the application don't you worry just click right over here in the corner to enable it. return just click it now click right over here on this other option right over here click right over here all right give you all the permission to the application give you all the control to the ape okay Go ahead to click it out over here. Okay. All right. As you can see, the application now has started. All right. Now, what you're going to do? Just a swap up. Go to setting of the emulator right over here. Click in the setting icon. Click on it. We are going to try to change this a uh, with the language, the Chinese language. Scroll down and find this icon the word icon is where you are going to find the every kind of language click on the first option right over here click right over here and this one over here in this option all right now you can a uh, change the language you can put the language that you want i'm going to uh, put it in english Take the, the language that you set to the first position. All right, the language has changed. Return. 
okay we are going to make we are going to disable one more option scroll down to the last option about phone just like just like this about phone clicking on it find this option i mean last option will the number clicking on it around seven times as we did on the start to activate the developer option as you can see you are now a developer we have you activate developer option a return just click on the developer option right over here scroll down all right here you need to disable the animation me windows animation scale click on it boot it off animation off disable the animation because it's making this emulator slower transition animation scale to the same turn it off the animation disabled and animation transition scale to the same put it off the animation all right now mark this option for the gpu rendering even if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM memory, you need to enable this option for the GPU directory to make the application work faster. The emulator, all right? Return. Okay, now I'm going to a uh, install some application. I mean, I'm going to install the root checker on this new system. To do that, I am going to be using this application right over here on the right over here. Just click on it by doing that it will open this window if you want to import some application just click on the first option right over here by doing that it will be a open it all the application install it on your android device just a choose choose one that you want to install for example i want to install the root shaker to find out if this has root access just click on it and click it right over here right over here click on it by doing that the application will be installed on the system now all you have to just return return you can return now as you can see we have installed the root shaker is now installed click on it do the same process click right over here on shake by doing that it will start to verify and it's going to tell you if your phone has the SS or not you can see wait a little bit as you can see root access installed on the device easy and simple without using a computer without using any custom recovery like ttab or b without hiring my device without unlocking the bootloader of my android device easy and simple okay guys so it's time for hope this video help you out if this video help you out please leave a like and subscribe if you are not a subscriber to this channel i think the notification to get notified about new video and i see you guys on the next one peace out